recently we at Pew published in the peer-reviewed journal Reproductive Toxicology an article entitled Data Gaps in Toxicity Testing for Chemicals Allowed in Food in the United States. It discusses what we know and what we don't know about the chemicals that appear on your ingredient label or may be used to make your food. Consumers need to be confident that everything on that ingredient list is safe. To do that, they rely on FDA. So what we asked is, of the information that FDA has when it decided it was safe, how much was really based on solid scientific studies and modern scientific tools? And what we've learned is that many of those decisions were made 50 years ago. So we're working with very old information. When we looked at FDA's database, we found that only one in five chemicals that are added directly to food had any type of feeding study, which means that they've never been fed to an animal to determine whether they hurt the animal. So we checked three of the most thorough databases, combined all that information, and concluded that about half of the direct additives that should have a study don't. We are not concluding that these decisions, these chemicals are unsafe. What we're saying is there's information missing and that we should be filling these data gaps. So what we're recommending is that FDA develop a strategy to set priorities to fill those gaps. And there are two modern tools that you can use to do that. One is you can use computers that look at similar chemicals and in a rigorous validated way can predict what the toxicology might be. Second, you need to inform that with cell-based studies that say, if you look at this cell and you expose it to the chemical, how does it act? And when you build that information together, you can begin to make some good scientific decisions. You still may need to do some animal testing, but only selectively when you know you've got an issue that needs further follow-up.